Can you believe it? We're almost to midterm. Today's Wednesday, day 13, week 7. This is OS2 Linux. Security topics, we went over how to log from one machine into another. And there's some information in the outline. If you have questions on that, you can contact other students or you can contact me and um, <clears throat> being able to set up we talked about that I'll mention a few more things in that classwork topics <clears throat> I talked a little bit about the labs not matching up but I think that's all squared away now in the curriculum curriculum and labs um, we talked about the work that's due for classwork the uh, CLI and scripting and so forth. You just need one script that's working and then also in there you need to talk about how to change that uh, symbolic link in order to have your machine boot to just a, a multi-user or to boot into graphical mode and so forth. That would be in notes and in some whiteboard reviews. We uh, talked about having a path for your scripts to run. You can type this to run the script, or there's some other options students are using. Eventually, though, you want to have a path, your directory, and then pointing at the bin directory. <clears throat> now, so those are some of the things we talked about. Other items, uh, we talked about summer school. Right now, it's set up data assurance in May, the next networking class in June, Monday through Thursdays every day. Students talked about you can download the entire Office package if you want to on your computers. And we talked about security. You know, when you log into a machine in the room, if you're logging in like to the networking side to a machine, then if you use some personal accounts, one I can think of would be Google, you want to make sure that you close that and make sure there's no, um, make sure you eliminate the, uh, what would be the word, any personal passwords or history or whatever on that, okay? So somebody else doesn't open that up and get into your Google account because you didn't log out of it. <clears throat> That's probably the biggest thing. Make sure you log out of your Google account. A lot of the things we're doing now, a lot of the students are starting good. They're pretty good at how to do it. Our next step is to dig in deeper and understand how to do that. And we talked a little bit about studying and being able to work efficiently being able to focus when it comes time to study. Security. We talked about data integrity. Is the data accurate? Data confidentiality? Who can see what data? And then we have to keep data available. We talked about authentication, authorization, and accounting. Now, in some cases, we can have, you know, a shared key and you'll learn more about that especially this summer in the security class so you have a key a key you share it on both ends however you get it to one place or another you have some algorithm so this algorithm can encrypt we send it over here encrypt it using this key then we use this key to decrypt it now another way to manage that which is popular nowadays is to use a public and private key public key you can share, the private key you would always keep. Never let anybody um, have it. That makes sense? Okay, so if you use a public key to encrypt, you got to have the private key to decrypt it. You use the private key to encrypt, you got to have the public key to decrypt it. It's called a key pair. So how that would work, so let's say um, somebody wants to send me a message okay so in class I use an example of Sam Sam wants to send a message to me and we want it 
encrypted, I could send Sam my public key. He can encrypt it, send it to me, and since he encrypted it with my public key, the only way to decrypt it would be with my private key. Now, we can set up a public-private key combination on our Linux machines using RSA. Okay? Set it up for encryption. So here's, here's what happens. We can set up a public-private key here. We can send the public key to our server. We can share that because we don't care if somebody sees it. And then when we authenticate, that'll have to match. You know, we're, our private key then will allow us to authenticate to this machine that has our public key in. Now, in the if you look under in the curriculum, um, I should say in Medicad. In Medicad, there's a place we went over. It's in that enhanced learning, the skills outline. If you look in the skills outline and search for RSA, you'll find some links and some information on how to do this. The last thing. We have Work Server 3, and we made accounts for everybody in there. The um, be your last name capitalized, like for me, it would be D I R K S C -E N, and first name capitalized. So when you log in there, this is the initial password if you SSH to this machine, and the only way to do that that's a Right? That's a private internal address, so you'll have to go to 85, works, right? 185, work server 2, you have to log in to work server 2 first, and then log into here. And when you do that, use this password, and then it'll make you change your password after you log in. And then after you change it, it'll log you out, and then you can log in again with your new password. All right. One last thing. We have the unit, unit 2 assessment ready and you can take that outside of class it's um, 25 points I think it's you know like 25 questions <laughs> about that um, pretty close to that uh, there's 22 questions and the last questions were three or four points something like that it's really important your words for the uh, for the short answer oops let me back up there your words for those short answers you can use resources and notes but put it in your words and then make sure you show on the computer work where you're doing work in Linux make sure you the process and the results so I want to see the commands the commands and what they produce okay as you go through those steps and you'll have to check in the curriculum. I believe it's due Saturday, but you'll have to check. <clears throat> have any questions about it, see me, but you can't work with anybody else, just you and the assessment, and then if you get stuck on something, check with me. Don't ask the other students. That is it.